Now let's do set number 10, sa daily math quiz natin. Number one, a piece of gauze three feet and four inches long was divided in five parts. How long was each part? Tung three feet natin, i-convert muna natin into inches. One foot is equivalent to 12 inches. So, tatlong, tatlong feet man siya. So, three times 12 equals 36 inches plus 4 equals 40 inches itong 40 inches na to i-divide natin ng 5 40 divided by 5 is equals to 8 so the answer is letter C number 2 each sprinkler head on an outlet uh, filled sprays water at an average of 16 gallons per minute if five sprinkler heads are flowing at the same time, how many gallons of water will be released in 10 minutes? All we have to do is just multiply all these numbers. 16 gallons times 5, that is 80. Tapos, i-multiply mo lang ng, ilan ba yun? Sampo. That is 800. So, the answer is letter C. Ulitin ko kung sakaling nalilito kayo. Ang given ay, kada sprinkler daw, 16 gallons per minute ang average na mauubos niya, magagamit niya. Lima ang sprinkler heads are flowing at the same time. The same time. How many gallons of water will be released in 10 minutes? Per minute muna tayo. Huwag muna natin isipin yung 10 minutes. Per minute muna tayo. Ang isang sprinkler, makakaubos yan ng 16 gallons per minute. So, kung may lima, so, ibig sabihin, i-multiply mo lang siya. 16 times 5. So, silang lima, 80 gallons na siya per minute. Isang minuto. Itong 80. Sampung minuto, so, i-multiply mo lang siya ng 10. Kaya 800 ang answer. Number 3. Use the following data to answer this question. Lefty keeps track of the length of each fish that he catches. Below are the lengths in inches of the fish that he caught one day. So ito. What is the median fish length that Lefty caught that day? Pag sinabing median, Yung nasa gitna. So, ang unahin natin ay i-arrange ang number na ito. From lowest to highest. So, we have 8, dalawang 8, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, at 17. I-arrange lang siya. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Ibig sabihin, ito yung gitna. May tatlo dito, may tatlo May tatlo sa right side. So, ang median ay 10. The answer is letter B. Review tayo ng konti kung ano yung median. Pag sinabing median, that means middle. Mean, that means average. Tsaka yung mode, yan yung paulit-ulit. Ang may pinakamaraming paulit-ulit sa given a number. So, sulat na natin, repeated numbers. So, ito yung median, yung middle. After mo ma-arrange into ascending or descending, means average. Tapos yung mode ay repeated numbers. Number four. If it takes two workers working separately but at the same speed, two hours and 40 minutes, to complete a particular task, about how long will it take one worker working at the same speed to complete the same task alone? So, ang gagawin natin, kasi nung dalawa sila, 
uh, natapos nila ng 2 hours and 40 minutes. Pariho lang speed nila. Ngayon, kung isa na lang ang magtrabaho, ibig sabihin, i-multiply natin ng 2 ito. So, 2 hours, i-multiply natin ng 2, that is 4 hours. Si 40 minutes, i-multiply natin ng 2, and that is 80 minutes. Si 80 minutes, mayroon niyang isang oras, so 20 minutes na lang. Ito ay equivalent na isang oras. I-add natin sa 4, so you have 5 hours and... 20 minutes. So, ang answer ay letter D. 5 hours and 20 minutes. Ulitin lang natin para mas lalong maintindihan. Bali, nung dalawa sila, ching, dalawa sila, natapos nila yung trabaho ng 2 hours and 40 minutes. Tapos, same speed lang sila. As in, same speed. So, kung isa lang ang magtrabaho, isa na lang ang magtrabaho, bali, half na lang sa speed. Kung half na lang ang speed, so, mas tatagal yung oras. That means, i-multiply natin ng 2 ito. Itong 2 hours and 40 minutes. Another way na pag-multiply nito, aside sa ginawa ko kanina, na two, ang hours at saka yung minute ang minumultiply ko, i-convert natin itong... Uh, 40 minutes into hours or the other way around i-convert mo itong oras para dito sa uh, minuto so ang dalawang oras ay 120 120 plus 40 and that is 160 so 160 times 2 and that is 320 minutes 320 minutes Divided by 60 para hours and minutes tayo. So, divided by 60, that is 5, 30, so 20. Itong 5 na to, ito yung hours. Itong 20 na to, ito yung minutes. So, the answer is 5 hours and 20 minutes. Number 5. A snack machine accepts only quarters. Candy bars cost 25 cents. Packages of peanuts cost 75 cents and cans of cola cost 50 cents. How many quarters are needed to buy two candies, one package of peanuts, and one can of cola? So, candy bars cost 25. Kung dalawang candy, ibig sabihin dalawang quarters. Ang 25 means quarter yan siya. So, Dalawang quarter ang kailangan. And then, one package of peanut, ibig sabihin yung one package of peanut, 75, so tatlo. And one can of cola. One can of cola is 50, so dalawa. I-add mo ito, and the answer is letter B, 7. 2 plus 3 plus 2 equals 7. Number 7, an elevator sign reads maximum weight 600 pounds which of the following may ride the elevator so dapat less than 600 pounds a three people one weighing 198 pounds and one weighing 185 pounds and one weighing 200 kung i-round off round off mo yan 200 200 200 so that is 600 bali uh, dito less than 600 siya less than 600 so ito pwede dito. Kung letter A, pwede na siya, maximum weight is 600, so balik, which of the following may ride the elevator? Ito pwede siyang mag, uh, pwede itong tatlo, ay tatlong tao man to, so pwede itong letter A, ang sagot. Pero kung gusto mong i-double check yung B, C, D, tingnan natin. One person weighing 140 pounds with loading weight of 500 pounds, more than 600 na siya, so hindi siya pwede. Letter C, one person weighing 165 pounds, tapos yung with a loading weighing 503, hindi rin more than 600 siya. Letter D, three people, one weighing 210, ito 101. Tapos ito naman, 298. So kung i-add mo siya, more than 600 pa rin siya, so hindi rin pwede. So, the answer is 
Letter A. Number 8. Darlene was hired to teach three identical math courses, which entailed being present in the classroom 48 hours altogether. At 35 per class hour, how much did Darlene earn for teaching one course? So, itong 48 hours altogether sa tatlong identical math courses, i-divide natin ng 3 ito. Kasi per course lang man ang tanong, i-divide natin ng 3. 48 divided by 3, and that is 16. So, itong 16 na to, yan yung i-multiply natin ng 35. 16 times 35, and the answer is letter B, 560. Number 9, Carmila and Maria got summer jobs at the ice cream shop and were supposed to work 15 hours per week each for 8 weeks. During that time, Maria was ill for one week and Carmila took her shifts. How many hours did Carmila work during 8 weeks? Okay, balik natin. Ano ang given dito? We're supposed to work 15 hours per week for 8 weeks. So, 15 times 8 is equals to 120. Now, during that time, Maria was ill for one week and Carmen took her shifts. So, yung one week na yun ay 15 hours. So, bali, i-add mo lang yung 15 hours sa 120 niya. And you have 135 hours. So, the answer is letter B. Number 10, 400 pounds of cod are shipped to Jerry's Fish Market packed into 20 pounds crates. How many crates are needed for a shipment? Bali, i-divide mo lang si 400 by 20 and the answer is 20, letter C.